Hey, wifeys. Hey, husbands. Love you all. I'm so happy that you guys watch. And thank you for your love and support. Thank you for liking and following, all that stuff. Special like to my OnlyFans subscribers. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I put new stuff every week. And this little thing is my food part because sensuality has a lot to do with food and wine. <laughs> I mean, within reason, <laughs> on certain days. Hey, it's Thirsty Thursday. And it's hot out there. It's Phoenix, okay? And it's not even hot yet. It's going to be like 120 on Saturday. We're going to burn. <gasps> We're going to burn. And my friend just got back from Alaska. <laughs> I'm like, wow, how does it feel? <laughs> Alaska's so beautiful. Anyways, so cheers. <laughs> Carp diem. And, of course, we are on the sixth hermetic principle or value law. Okay, principle or whatever you want to call them which is the law of cause and effect, a.k.a. karma. <laughs> karma. Uh-oh, that thing that we all have to deal with. Sometimes we're like, I think I got away with it. I think I got away with it. And then you're like, um, I didn't get away with it. <laughs> so before that, in the spirit of ancient Greece, where Mr. Hermes was from, I am making... I am making hummus. I want you guys to come closer to see these little guys. <laughs> Chickpeas. <laughs> I'll just bring it. See the, oh God, there's too much like light glare. Oh, see the chickpeas? <laughs> I am making hummus. I love making hummus and it's seven simple ingredients. Seven, just like the hermetic laws. That's a great number. Great, great number. So the sixth law of Hermeticism is cause and effect, which is karma. Well, I, it's, you know, he doesn't call it karma. He calls it cause and effect. And everything has a reaction, right? Like Bradley always, I start talking. Bradley knows when I'm filming <laughs> my little food episode. He comes and sneezes right? <laughs> okay. Cause and effect, right? I started talking and there's no, you know, it was quiet in the house. The effect was he came down, sneezed. <laughs> I think this is becoming, he's got allergies folks. Okay. So, okay. So <laughs> anyways, this is huge. And, it, you know, you can see how it goes along with all the other principles that you talked about. <laughs> yeah, I know. The cause is all the pollen in the air, effect, Bradley sneezing. But so that's karma. You know, when, when you do something, whatever you put out there, you guys know this. It comes back. But we know this so well, but we still just don't. Don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. It's our culture. I don't know what it is. But anyways, real quick before I make the hummus. Hummus is real easy. I mean, back in the ancient days, they had to probably mesh it all. But now we have a, you know, a food processor or a blender. Oh, do you guys like my pants? <laughs> Actually, this looks ancient. Doesn't this look ancient? Like ancient Greece kind of? So, okay, this Hermes guy, his name is actually Hermes Trismegistus. Am I saying it right? <laughs> Let me get my mermaid notes. <laughs> Hermes Trismegistus or Trismegistus. If there's anybody that's Greek that follows me and watches this, can you correct me? <laughs> um, he was an expert probably a scholar and probably one of the, what, what do they call those people that, that thought all day philosopher. 
So he was an expert on ancient Egyptian religion, beliefs. So this stuff, these laws actually come from ancient Egypt. And then that comes from the aliens in the spaceship. <laughs> okay. But it's good stuff. Okay. Let's do this. It's seven simple ingredients. I'm sure he used to snack on it while he was writing the laws down. Chickpeas. Can you see? I don't know if I should move it. No? Okay. A little bit of lemon. Bradley actually likes uh, hummus. <laughs> Lemon juice. And make sure you get a seed in there. <laughs> okay. Olive oil. But a nice little amount because um, this stuff, tahini, I'm sure you guys have, some of you guys have had it. It could be a little thick. It's peanut buttery, almond buttery. I mean, it's a a nut seed butter, you know? I love almond butter myself. And it needs to be stirred. And it's messy. Like almond butter. Uh, <laughs> this one is sesame seeds. Um, they've got sunflower seed butter. <laughs> You're not allergic to it, are you? <laughs> I need to start playing music in here. That's the best thing when... Urgh, don't worry, I checked the date, okay? It's good till next year. It's just been... God dang it! Okay, I see, I didn't think of that part. I should have probably did it first. This thing... If, you guys know about old-fashioned peanut butter? Well, all these freaking nut butter seed butters is like that. Oh my God. And yeah, messy. Messy. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's hot outside. I don't. Now I'm going to put like half chickpeas and about half tahini. God dang it. Okay. I should have thought of that. Let me. Let me get a, a little towel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nothing can ever just go smoothly. That's okay. It's better that way. Okay. I don't, damn. I think it's settled a little too much. So I'm sure the thing could chop through it. <laughs> Damn, okay. All right, I'm just going to put it in there all juice, the juicy top. Oh, wait, here comes a big chunk. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to do an ancient Greece belly dance <laughs> while, while we wait to figure this situation out. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough tahini. <laughs> Bradley, oh my god, why do you always do this to me? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to need to play some music. I used to do that. Okay, so <laughs> we're already making a mess. <laughs> so we barely, okay, we have the tahini, the chickpeas, and the olive oil. And the lemon. Cumin. <laughs> I know, right? No pun intended. Don't say anything, guys. Don't say anything nasty. Cumin. <laughs> what does it look? Okay, I'll stop. Okay. A little bit of cumin. <laughs> Let me see. Is it... I want to make sure it's popping out. Okay. Okay. Wow. Oh. Okay. Garlic. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Of course, Himalayan salt. 
and we got them all in there miraculously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying. There we go. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, as you're going along, where's my spoon? I thought I had a spoon here. Where did it go? Well, I had a spoon here. Here's a knife. <laughs> so, okay, that's looking thick. That is looking a little thick. That freaking, I almost said an F-bomb. Oh God, her maze would not like this. Oh no, we gotta take it back. I'm putting a little more lemon juice. Of course, it squirts at me. <laughs> it's supposed to be nice and smooth. Yeah. Okay, there we go. It's grindulating. <laughs> oh my god, it smells good. I can smell the garlic all breaking up. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a little messy, but... I never said making hummus was very easy, <laughs> especially when the freaking this thing over here. Okay, I'm going to finish that. <laughs> so I went to the Bayes market because I want to show you what I'm serving it with. I love these things. I just like taking. <laughs> it's a their flatbread. They bake it there. It's freaking. It's like a Far East tortilla. Really big one though. Ain't it great? So I am gonna finish. <laughs> this hummus and be back shortly <laughs> to show you the results.